Oh, thanks, Lou. Hey, you know there's going to be some fight tonight? Between us and the landlord? No, no, no. Kid Schmaltz and Bob Daly. You know, if I had ten bucks, I'd put it right on the nose of Bob Daly. You know what I would do if I had ten bucks? What? I would buy a big porterhouse steak smothered with lamb chops, and I'd buy some new furniture for this joint and a big car. Where are you getting all this for ten bucks? I got a friend of mine. He's in the business wholesale. <laughs> landlord. Fight's on. Hey, Abbott and Costello. I want to talk to you. We'll tell them when they get in. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, hello, Mr. Fields. Come right in. Hello, boy. Mr. Fields, what are you doing all dressed up? Oh, uh, I've got to go out for a couple of hours. There's a man coming to fix my coat. Uh, here's the key to my apartment. Will you see that he gets in? Oh, sure. Good. Now, be sure that he fixes the television set because I want to watch the fights tonight. Oh, uh, here's $10. That ought to take care of it. Yeah. Thanks very much, boy. Okay, Mr. Fields. Okay, Mr. Fields. Hey, $10 to fix a television set. That's highway robbery. We could do it ourselves. We could. Why not? Maybe you're right. There's no sense in letting somebody else rob them when we could. No, you are. You've got it. Go get some tools. Go ahead, open the door. Get the key out. We don't want anybody. No, 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 no. Anybody to know we're going in here. Bang a hole in the door, and then you can sort. We want get to get the key out. We want to do any job. We don't mind that. Get the key. Okay. Come on, hurry up. Open the door. <laughs> Mike the cop. <laughs> what happened? He's <laughs> What are you guys up to? We ain't up to nothing, Mr. Policeman. Oh, yes, you are. You wouldn't be so polite. All right, you dumb flatfoot. Are you satisfied now? Well, that's more like it. But I better check with Mr. Fields. He's not home. Oh, so you knew he wasn't home, and you're monkeying around with his door. No. Well, I'd better go in there and see if everything's all right. <laughs> well, are you happy now? I'll never be happy as long as I'm living under the same roof with you two. Costello, you're standing in the exact spot that I desire to trespass. <laughs> I'd like to punch that dumb cop right in the nose again. Again? I felt like it yesterday, too. <laughs> go around in the alley, climb through the window and open the door. Okay, go ahead, I'll hurry up. Don't go away. I want to try to blow torch while I'm going. No, 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 go ahead.
Well, uh, this is no time to play. Come on down. Come on. Now cut it out, Pat. Don't let me. Do you? Hurry up, hurry up before we get caught. Come on, never mind that. Oh! oh! Hey, you! What's going on here? Well, we heard a bell and we were just coming out to investigate. Yeah, sounds like a telephone. Sounds like in Mr. Field's room. What's the meaning of this? Well, I, I, I... You're the guys that did this. What are you talking about? Really, bud? I don't know. Sergeant, I can't imagine a policeman like this. He must have been working awfully hard to go around without wearing any pants on like this. Why, you... Kelly! Yeah, yes, sir? When you get your clothes on, report to the lieutenant at the station. Yes, sir. Salute the sergeant. Oh, <laughs> Get the word. Okay. Come on. Now there's the television set. Now get to it. Boy, this is the easiest ten dollars we ever made. Out in the alley, I'm on my head in a can out there, and you call that easy. You don't know what I was going to tell you to swallow the key. No. Well, what are you hollering about? Well, it was a mistake. I right, get the screwdriver. Let's get to work. Okay. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <coughs> That's a hammer. Yeah? Come here. <laughs> There's a screwdriver. Somebody think I'm a dope or something? Certainly I think you're a dope. I was going to get it. Oh, you do? Shut up. Here. What's this? Uh, what is it? So? Huh. That's right. How do you like that? I got it the first time. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a dope, huh? Go ahead, get to work. I'll be careful. Huh? <laughs> get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, no wonder you couldn't with... fix this thing. I was supposed to start off with ten dollars. Don't break the machine. Give me all mixed up. Your dinner is all uh, disconnected here. Look out. I'm, I'm mixed up. Get off there. Go away. You want to dirty the machine? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going to play with you. Now, no wait more. a minute. Now, let's see what happens. I hope it don't work. And now we come to the important part of our Money to Burn program, the $1,000 question. As you know, friends, uh, every week at this hour, we give away money, 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 oodles of money, and this may be your lucky day. But right here, we'd like to remind you that this program is brought to you by the makers of Gusto Steak Sauce, that delicious, tangy, tantalizing garnish that makes Chuck steak taste like tenderloin. And so if you can afford a steak, eat it with Gusto. And now to our $1,000 question. We're going to dial it number one. That? A guy giving away a thousand dollar bill for one little question. Why don't he get in a cycler, a cycler, one of those things and then answer the Wait question himself? I used sucker enough to go for those things. Those programs are not on the level. Huh? Oh, I better answer that. Wait a minute. Who do you think you are? Mr. Fields' private secretary? You're not supposed to be here. Take it easy. The number being called doesn't seem to answer. Well, it looks as though the $1,000 question will have to be held over until next week when we'll have a giant jackpot of $2,000. What a phony. 2000 phony. Phone. I think I'd better answer that phone. Go ahead. Hello? 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 Is this the residence of uh, Mr. Sidney Fields? It is. Mr. Sidney Fields of 214 uh, Brookline Avenue? Right. Well, this is your Money to Burn program. And listen carefully, please. For $1,000, can you answer the following question? When Cleopatra first called upon Mark Anthony, she was greeted at the gates by a soldier. I want to know the immortal words spoken to her by that soldier. They must be the exact words, Mr. Fields. Some guy wants Mr. Fields. He's not in. He ain't in. That's absolutely correct. Soldier <laughs> words to Cleopatra were, he ain't in. Hello. 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 
Well, I'll... I'll, 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 I'll Hello? I'll turn it down, Sheikh. It's turned down. Hello? Oh. Wait a minute. This is disconnected. What's that? It went off. What'd you do here? What did you do to Mr. Fields' television set? How did I know he was... I... <coughs> Take it easy now. Did you send for someone to fix your television set? It is over there. It only needs a little adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> little adjustment? So. This thing looks like it was hit by an atom bomb. Well, look, Bob. Just fix it ten dollars worth. That's all we got. That's all we got. Here's we got. I can't do nothing with it here. I'll have to take it down to the shop. Hey, come on, I'll open it up. Okay. You make it? Yeah. I got it. Oh, boy. Hey, this is back over this. Oh. Go ahead. Hey, don't forget to get that back in a hurry. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello, this is the Money to Burn television program. Uh, Mr. Sidney Fields? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry we were disconnected before. I didn't have a chance to congratulate you. Do, do you realize that not one in 10,000 could have answered that question correctly? You must be quite a scholar, quite a historian. Well, uh, I try to keep up with the times, you know. Uh, and now, in regards to the money, um, you know, the $1,000. Should, should I come down and get it? No, that won't be necessary, Mr. Fields. Uh, we'll bring it out to your home. Well, I, I didn't want to put you out any. I, I, I could just leave, come down there and get it. It's uh, very easy. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fields, but that's an ironclad rule. We'll be at your home this evening at 8 o'clock and put that crisp new $1,000 bill right in your hand. Goodbye, Mr. Fields. Uh, uh, goodbye. Oh, boy. Will Mr. Fields be surprised when we tell him about the $1,000 prize he won? The $1,000 that Mr. Fields won? We answered the telephone, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, we answered the thousand dollar question, didn't we? We did. We did. <laughs> oh. What's the matter with you? We got a stomach ache from the kiwi swallowed. <laughs> oh, hello, Nick. Uh, this is Bud Abbott. Say, Nick, do you know of anyone who's got a fight ticket for tonight? Huh? Just one. All right, I'll hold on. Hey, Abbott. Hmm? What's the idea of spending that money on a fight ticket? Well, we could use it. We're going to give this ticket to Mr. Fields. Oh. After all, we've got to get him out of this apartment for the night. They're delivering that thousand dollars. So true, so yeah. true, so true. What is that you got there? It's a magnet. <laughs> I'm going fishing for that key. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, not you, Nick. What's that? Oh, you've got one. Fine. Will you hold it for me? Yes, I'll come right over again. Thanks a lot, Nick. <laughs> come on, let's go up. Can... Come, on. Come, on. Uh -oh. come on. Come on, little Marie. Hey, Mr. Fields. Mr. Fields. Do you know your apartment was burglarized today? What? Burglarized? Well, almost. I scared him away. Oh, well. Let's see if I... And I got a pretty good idea who did it, too. Those two guys that live in the next apartment. You mean Abbott and Costello? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Yeah? Well, I saw a monkey around with the door trying to get in. Hey, my television set, it's gone. What'd they tell you? They probably hocked it. I'll send out a general alarm. Hello. Yes, this is Mr. Sidney Fields. This is the Apex TV repair. One of my men brought in your television set. It's in pretty bad shape. It's going to cost you $163 to fix it. $163? Why, you're out of your mind. All that set needed was a little minor adjustment. Ah, you guys are all alike. You're a bunch of crooks. Wait just a minute, Mac. You ain't talking to me like that. Oh, I ain't, huh? Well, if you were here, I'd punch you right in the nose. Oh, yes, I would. Oh, is that so? Well, why don't you just do that? How do you like that dirty crook? Not only he's robbing me, but now I won't have my television set to watch that fight tonight. 
Well, maybe I can borrow one for you, Mr. Fields. Do you think you really can? Well, I'll see what I can do. Hiya, Mike. Hardly knew you with your pants, huh? I'm warning you guys, don't steam me up. Oh, don't get sore. He was only kidding. Uh, Mr. Fields, how would you like to see that fight tonight? The only thing is, you've got to be out of here by 8 o'clock, so you... Uh, <laughs> he means that uh, you've got to get there a little early on account of the crowd. You know what that is. Uh, there it is, with our compliments. Awfully nice of you, boys. I, I don't know what to say. I'm really touched. You're going to be touched for plenty, don't worry. You need a little dough? Oh, no, 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 no. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, by and by, we, him and I, we're going to be riding down Easy Street. Good. Well, thanks, boys. Thanks a million. Thanks a thousand. <laughs> Why don't you keep quiet? Every time you open your mouth, you stick your foot in it. Are you kidding? This I gotta prove. Wait a minute. I'm gonna show you something. Look at that. So what? I, I, I couldn't get that shoe in my mouth. Well, you get everything else in your mouth. Mr. Field's key, the magnet. Oh, you know Dan. <laughs> get that silly grin off your face. Well, I guess I better get going. You wanna be late for the fight? Well, have you got the set hooked up, huh? Yeah, it's not as good as yours, Mr. Field, but it works all right. Say, do you mind if I stay here and watch the fight on it? Well, of course I don't mind. As a matter of fact, I'd like to have you hanging around in case that burglar tries to come back. Yeah, I wish he would. He'd sure get something he's not expecting. <laughs> Fields is on his way to the fights by now. We we'll go down to his apartment, take over when the man comes in with the money. I'll talk to you. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Hey, Abbott, how are we going to get in here? I thought of that. I got a pass key. That's my partner. Well, here we are at the ringside of the jam-packed arena. The first of the preliminary bouts will go on any minute now. But it's the main event of fans are waiting for and from the festival scene of all of are in tip-top condition. They wait as long as they can each come. Go out this window, go in our window, right through our room. Hurry up. Come on, get out. See, sir, I... Don't you ever have all of your clothes on at one time? Well, I'm off duty now, you know. You'll I... probably be off duty for the next couple of weeks. Oh, really? He's got a key. Go watch him, Mr. Field, the pop. No! I don't know where you're going! Costello, give me a hand. I said I can't. <laughs> I could have sworn you guys had something to do with this. And I still ain't so sure. What are you talking about? Now, what happened? I was sitting right in there when somebody broke into this apartment. That's what happened. Oh, uh, while you were sitting right there, huh? Oh, well, I... Mike, I, I think you need a watchdog. Look, I'm going off duty now. Do you suppose you can manage to keep out of trouble at least until tomorrow? Now, I think that's good advice, Mike. You ought to give it a good try. <laughs> uh, relax, boys. I'll go in the kitchen and make some coffee. I don't know why it is every time I get mixed up with you two, something happens. Why would you take the move out of here? Well, you'd have to top Mr. Fields' offer. He was ready and willing to forget 10% of our past rank. Well, why didn't you take him up on it? Well, we were willing to meet him halfway. We told him if he'd forget half the rank, we'd forget the other half. Go <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? You've got to put Mike to sleep before the man...
Dan from the television program and gets here. Let me belt them over the head. No, not that. We want to collect that money, don't we? Yeah. One inside. Let me see, let me see. Go on, go on, I'll tend to this. Go on inside. And another hard ride to the moon section by Jim Swan. Pace has been terrific. One more minute to go with the round. Left, another left. And a right crossed by Daly, and it looks as though the title may change hands. And we are. Two seconds. Coffee for all. Boys slugging it out. Yeah, that'll spruce you up. Ten seconds. Hey, yeah, Mike. Oh, thanks. That'll take good care of you. Yeah. Well, first down. Nothing like a nice fresh cup of coffee, eh? I gotta agree with you. Good health. Well, that's what it thinks. <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing. Oh, uh, better give Mike some sugar. Sugar, Mike? Yeah, I need something. <laughs> Well, let's drink down there, boys. Yeah, yeah. Nothing like a good cup of coffee. Might as well drink down. Sure. Yeah, drink it out. Oh, no, there's no need of looking at it, exactly, Lou. You know, there's always a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like coffee, don't you? Uh, get the sugar, will you? I need sugar in mine. Give me the sugar, Mike. <laughs> That's a boy. Now, drink down. I don't think anything's gonna help. Want a little more sugar? No, no, it's enough, it's enough. I'll get some of yours. Well, come on, drink down, drink down. I'm happy tonight. Ah, you should be. <laughs> Ah, that's good coffee. Is it? The best. <laughs> What's that? A little hot in here. No, no, it's all right. It's... Look, I'm tired to look. Your name, Fields. Did I talk to you on the phone? Oh, about the television thing? Yes, sir. You got something for me? I sure have. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike! Mike! Get up, Mike! This is no time to sleep! Hey, Arvin! Get up! You little boy's gonna get killed! Get up, Arvin! <laughs> Listen, did I hurt you when I hit you that time? Oh, huh. no. That's what I thought. <laughs> That'd be a lesson. <coughs> <coughs> contest for the championship of the world between middleweight title holder Dick Smaltz and powerhouse contest for Patterson, New Jersey, Barney Daly. <coughs> <coughs> hey, hey, Abbott. Abbott. Here, here, here. What are you looking for? Say. What's been going on in here? Mr. Fields, if I was to tell you, you wouldn't believe me. Well, you believe this. You gave me a counterfeit ticket for that fight, and we're through. From now on. Well, what do you want? Mr. Sidney Fields? Yes. I talked to you on the telephone. Now, about the money. Just a minute. Is this about the television? Yes, and I have something for you. Yes, well, I have something for you. <laughs> oh, you want to play rough, huh? <laughs> I might as well listen to the fight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and the fight is over. 
Well, and a new champion tonight. I'm sure you'll agree with me that this is one of the greatest fights ever. That's what you think. <laughs> 